Hi guys, welcome to another video. And today we're going to be reacting to the 10 unluckiest people in the world. So, let's get into it. While some of us seem to have captured the Lucky Charms Leprechaun, the large majority of us, I would say, have some bad luck every now and again. But maybe reconsider how good you have it, because today we're breaking down the top 10 unluckiest people in the world. These are the same people that win the lottery but forget to redeem their ticket on time. Like this video for good luck, you don't need any bad juju. And watch until the end because some of these people are walking around with actual rain clouds above their heads. Number 10, the worst day of work. Some people work in offices doing paperwork all day, some make YouTube videos, some of us work in warehouses. You get the point. Yet, we all share a common thing. We can all ruin a day's work in the blink of an eye. For one guy, it seemed like a normal day at work just moving around some product in the warehouse. This guy drives up to his co-workers, taking his time with the steering, and, well, the guy barely even clips the racking before the entire warehouse collapses in on it. This dude is literally buried completely under the rubble from all the products on the shelves. Can you imagine the conversation the next morning? I hope the boss was at least somewhat understanding because Yikes! What an unlucky turn of events. Thankfully, after hours of searching, they pulled the driver out from the rubble safe and sound. And I can guarantee he's probably calling out for his next couple of shifts. Number 9. The Unlucky Shopper Shopping can be a very exciting experience. Maybe you're out grabbing some new clothes or a new game came out. Even still, I think this guy's gonna be avoiding heading out for shopping for a couple of months after this unfortunate event. We've got this guy peeking around what looks to be an electronic shop when he notices a few TVs set up in a pretty awkward position. Of course, he wants to inspect them a little and that's where things take a turn for the worse. The guys at the counter are just holding their hands in their heads after you see- Imagine you was in a shop not plan to buy anything then that happens you have to pay for all of them oh my god this happened honestly i'm not really too sure what they were expecting considering how they stack these tvs in such a weird way number eight when a seagull steals your gopro Nightly strolls can be relaxing. They're a great opportunity to clear your head and zone out for a while. Sometimes, though, crazy unexpected things happen and can occasionally ruin those nice moments in a flash. This next guy is just out exploring France at night when all of a sudden he's thrown into a pretty unlucky situation. Imagine you're just out there chilling and some seagull pulls up and yoinks your GoPro. This little guy just picks it up with his beak and bolts it like he just pulled off the heist of the century. It's really weird how human-like this seagull actually sounds. It's hilarious how it just straight up yells at one point. The bird just hangs out by it for a while before seemingly getting bored of it, flying off. Eventually the guy tracks the GoPro down, of course, saying he found it on a castle wall. Weird place to leave it, huh? I know this guy's gonna be super paranoid the next time he walks past the seagull now. I would be too. Number seven, water slide fan. We all love a bit of warmth in the summertime, regardless of how you react to that fresh sunlight. One of the best ways to cool off from the heat is taking a dip in a pool. But sometimes people can't exactly go out and buy a water slide, so they make their own. These guys have a really neat little setup going, setting up a water slide off of their roof in a DIY fashion. The guy up top seems primed and ready to take a nice ride down to the pool. Unfortunately for him, it looks like his role here was to be the crash test dummy. And that didn't look comfortable in the slightest. Ouch. <laughs> Hopefully he still got to cool off in the pool or something after that rough landing. And hey, maybe next time they'll send a different kind of dummy to test out the slot. Number six, bird poops in map. Imagine it's just another day on the job and you're out with your team reporting on some weird bird infestation. Then bang, out of nowhere, one of the birds just lays one on your shoulder. That's already caused for a pretty rough day out on the job. But life has a really funny way of showing us that it could always get worse. After getting hit on the shoulder, it's hard to picture what went through this reporter's mind when he decided to look up with his mouth wide open. Canadian brown finches, which is a small for- <laughs> I guess I should have seen that one coming, huh? This is hilarious. The irony when he said he should have seen it coming and then just right in the mouth. Yikes. The way he straight up panics afterwards is priceless. Don't get me wrong, I would 100% be reacting the same exact way, but still, you can't help but just laugh. All the guy was doing was reporting on some birds and his day went sideways really quickly. They got that drink to him pretty fast though. Fair enough. Number five, the time you're just fishing, enjoying life. 
For some people, fishing is a really relaxing experience. You can take in the sun, the view of the water, and all around just enjoy the calm of a beautiful day. These folks were doing exactly that, enjoying their time to the fullest, until they spotted a boat on the horizon heading straight for them. These four guys were literally just out there enjoying fishing, and suddenly, it's like a movie where this boat just comes out of nowhere. No matter how hard they tried to get the attention, it refused to stop or swerve. It is just terrifying how quickly it came in. I would have been so scared if I was on that boat. The after pics of the boat are crazy too. Like that damage is insane. Regardless, thankfully, all of those on board managed to get off before they were knocked out by the oncoming ship. This ended up as a pretty rough day for the boat owner, but it definitely could have been a lot worse, all things considered. Number four, cop leaves car in reverse. Getting pulled over by a cop is stressful enough, but what if they pulled you to the side of the road? You look in your mirror and, well, their car isn't exactly staying where you left. In the case of all these people, they just kept driving by, not bothering to even honk their horn at the guy or anything at all. Like, how does this cop not see or hear this car rolling away sooner? It must have been crazy embarrassing for this officer regardless, especially considering this dash cam footage was uploaded to YouTube of all places. Thankfully, after chasing down the car, he was able to stop it quickly so that nobody was hurt. Hopefully next time, he'll make sure he puts his cruiser in par. Number two, man gets smashed by a tire. A night out at the bar with some friends is typically the remedy for any bad day. In this guy's case, it may have just gone from bad to worse in the blink of an eye. He was chilling out at a roadside bar with his friends, having a laugh, enjoying a few drinks before something absolutely crazy happens. Did you see how fast that man just flew off screen after getting smacked by that tire? It's even more unlucky if you see the crutches leaning against the chair. Poor guy can't catch a break. But honestly, my favorite part about this clip is the guy in white in the top left. He just looks at what happened and instead of reacting with a shock, and instead of reacting with shock, he looks like he's seen this happen already. It must take some serious bad luck to somehow be in the exact place where this tire would hit. But hey, even after getting smashed by that tire, the guy lit. He suffered some damage but ended up pulling through. I guess he's not going to be drinking much after that though. Honorable mentions, where did that boulder come from? Before we get into our number one spot, we've got a pretty wild honorable mention to show you the follow this driver going about their day, strolling along a rainy roadway in Asia. And while rock slides aren't the most common thing in the world, they do definitely happen. And after seeing this, I'm definitely going to look out for them in the future. What's even scarier is that you can actually spot the boulder fall from the top of the mountain at the start. It sits as an honorable mention because while it's extremely unlucky for this to fall down on you, you're also extremely lucky because look how close that boulder was to falling on top of the car. It's like his car had a force field around it or something. That, that was just too close for comfort. But number one, when you're just driving and everything seems number normal, one. taking our number one spot, we've got another driver. This time, we're in Australia, and there are no falling rocks in sight. It seems like any other day driving along the highways when suddenly she's hit by a sign from above. And yes, I meant that literally. I hope this woman doesn't waste her money on lottery tickets because she had some of the absolute worst luck I have seen. She handled it really well at the time. Rather than just slamming hard on the brakes, she managed to make sure that it wouldn't cause any additional accidents for other drivers. How kind. If that side fell and hit up near the front seat, she would have been done for. Thankfully, that wasn't the case, and she ended up being fine. Even with that green of the sign hitting from above, I can definitely see some more green heading her way soon once the insurance money rolls in. Ah. Who have been our unluckiest people in the world? Hit the like button for good luck. Subscribe to the channel the if you're button. new. Click yeah, the video let's... on screen to watch out. Let's not click that. Maybe next video. And I, this original video is in the description below. Make sure to like and subscribe. I remember always being R&B, but really, I'll be because I'm on my own. Peace.